I fell in love with Douglas because there was a leader hidden somewhere deep inside me, but it wasn't until I was surrounded by others who saw it that I was able to recognize it myself. Those memories stick with me today as a PhD student, as an educator, as an organizer that fights for racial and gender equity, I am not afraid to ask hard and critical questions. I am not afraid to speak my truth to power. And I am not afraid to challenge the status quo. All of this started right here on this campus. My name is Sierra Kaler Jones. I graduated uh, Douglas Residential College, class of 2015, um, and my major was in social work, and I had minors in women's and gender studies and critical race and ethnic studies. Since graduating from Douglas, I uh, graduated with my master's degree from the George Washington University uh, in elementary education curriculum and instruction. Um, I'm currently a third year PhD student at the University of Maryland College Park. Uh, I study broadly education policy, but uh, my dissertation focuses on how black girls use arts-based practices like movement, music, and hair as forms of expression, resistance, and identity development. While I was here at Douglas, my first semester I took Knowledge and Power, Issues in Women's Leadership, and that was the first time in my life that I realized that a lot of the experiences that I had as a woman, uh, especially as a black woman, were shared experiences. Uh, we were sitting in class and I just remember other people around me raising their hands and being like, oh, I experienced that too. Issues of sexism, racism, and just all types of oppression. And then we were reading theory in class, and as I'm highlighting the paper, I was like, this, this all happened to me too. And so that really is what fueled my passion and my desire uh, to fight for race and, race and gender equity. I remember coming in my first year uh, and just feeling overwhelmed by the large Rutgers community. And so for me, Douglas was really a place where I could call home. And I lived in Katzenbach my first year, uh, which was of course a, a, an incredible experience, but it's, it's funny to reflect on that now because I realize that a lot of the people that live on my floor um, are still my friends to this very day. Um, one of my favorite Douglas memories is one of the deans of one of the colleges here uh, knew that I was interested in pursuing education law at the time. and. I think it's a true testament to the close-knit community here at Douglas. But we were at a career conference together uh, and she said to me, she's like, Sierra, I want you to meet someone. And it was a, an alumna that uh, is a lawyer. And so to be able to build that bond and that connection, even though we had graduated so many years apart, um, really just solidified for me how important uh, being a Douglas woman is to me um, and how, how this legacy and, and tradition uh, spans generations uh, to come, so that's one of my, my first favorite memories. Mm -hmm.